Welcome to the Weekly Wire Rundown. MC1 Fabrizio here, filling in for MC2 this week, and we have a great show. All combat roles are opening to women in every service. CMP is talking about modernizing training and learning, and we'll go behind the scenes to get you a look at the latest cutting-edge training technology. Plus, we have new guidance from the CNO, the first CNO to kill Darth Vader. Hey, General Vader. Go Navy. You can find the Naval Academy's full Star Wars themed spirit spot online. Go Navy! Getting into it now, Defense Secretary Carter announced this past week that all military combat jobs across the services will open to women, no exceptions. For the Navy, this means Navy SEALs and SWIC will now be open to women. Next, the CNO has a podcast now, in case you didn't know. And on the latest episode, he's discussing his core attributes. Integrity, accountability, initiative and toughness. Now, this is part of his strategic guidance and gives Navy leaders a set of criteria to evaluate themselves and their decisions. A lot more in the podcast, so check it out. Next, CMP discussed the need to modernize training in the Navy to help sailors learn and adapt faster during his keynote address at the Inter-Service and Industry Training Simulation and Education Conference. What this means for you is that you can expect to see more training programs that come to you whether that means digitally or whether that means training teams that set up shop out on the waterfront. Also, expect to see more virtual environment simulation training use. We at the Rundown recently had the chance to visit Naval Air Warfare Center Training Systems Division Orlando to check out some of the virtual environment training that's being developed there. Now the systems they're working on will allow sailors to train on exact replicas of the systems and equipment they'll use in the fleet. Here's one developed for the Mobicon container handler that I got a chance to try. This model behaves just like the actual vehicle would. It's physics based and understands how much weight it can carry, how fast it should move. Uh, both our mechanical and electrical engineering team actually built the control panel, which is an exact replica of what the driver of this vehicle uses to move a vehicle around in the mission bed. You would actually use this, you'd get the muscle memory just like you would in real life. You would understand how the controls worked. You would actually get to practice driving around in the mission bay and you're actually running into something right now. Yeah. So if you'll see, you have a top-down mini-map view in the lower right-hand corner, and that yellow box is your location. You actually hit a bulkhead on the front end here. Oops. Now, computer scientist Courtney McNamara also let me try out a maintenance training program being developed to work with the Oculus Rift, a low-cost consumer VR headset. We're investigating it so that everybody can have access to the same type of immersive training that typically the higher-end systems like uh, pilots get on day-to-day. -day. Now these virtual environments will allow sailors to train on a carbon copy of the ship, rendered digitally, right down to the nuts and bolts. The processes that we use to build the virtual environments got us down to within millimeters of actual equipment location. Everything and, and anything that is required of you on a normal ship, we try to embed in, in a training objective inside our virtual environment. And anything you'd have to do on board the ship, you have to do here. Check the oil. If a valve is underneath the deck plate, you got to go underneath the deck plate. We're really looking into the future to see how do we want to train our sailors of today and our sailors of tomorrow. Because our tech native sailors that we're getting in today, they learn differently than we did when I was a young sailor. They are familiar with different tools than I was when I was a young sailor. And it's incumbent upon us to get together with our folks who are experts in the field of learning and take advantage of those future technologies like virtual environments, intelligent tutoring, and mobile, which I think will be the three key enablers going forward. And that's this week's episode. MC Tuber Listen will be back next week. If you have any questions for the rundown or CMP, use USMPeople at gmail.com or just tweet at USMPeople. I'm MC1 Elliot Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.